wish you well, Pele. Hope uh, you're back on your feet soon. Uh, you've got to slow down a bit. Don't take too much on. And uh, look forward to seeing you hopefully in, uh, in Russia in the summer. We all over here, uh, Pele, hope that you will get better very, very quickly and uh, be able to come back across here sometime again. And uh, we'd love to see you again over here. Uh, we, we, we've just enjoyed so much of what you've done for us and we all hope that you get better as soon as possible. It was the World Cup 1958, Sweden, and uh, we played uh, in the qualifiers. We got to the qualifiers uh, tremendously well and uh, uh, we played uh, drawn against Brazil in the, in the qualifiers and uh, of course there were lots of, uh, there was so much about Brazil and they were the team to see and they had people like Didi and Vava and Garincha. Nobody said anything about Pele. And of course, um, hey, he, he took us completely by surprise. 70 years of age, I think he was playing his second game, I think, for, for Brazil. And uh, he's picked this ball up and he's just gone past three players and smashed it. And Jack Kelsey, our coach, made a save and we thought, who the hell is this kid? Where did he come from? On, on behalf of Pele, so Gordon, here it, will you please accept this now? Yeah, the one person we knew wouldn't drop it. I'll try not to. <laughs> oh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, well, first of all, let me just say, you know, I'm very, I'm very happy that I've been invited along here tonight. The only trouble is, obviously, and I'm sure you're very much like myself, very disappointed that, unfortunately, uh, Polly couldn't um, couldn't come here. Um, I did I did see him over in uh, in, in Russia, uh, and he was in a wheelchair there um, when I, when I did the drawing for the World Cup, and um, I, I, I spoke to him. What would it be? 18 months before that, here in in London, and he was he, he, he got to walking sticks then and uh, he was struggling to, to get around and he said that his, his knees and his, his groins were, were just, just not working properly uh, and obviously that's one of the reasons he's not come here tonight but it's, it's really unfortunate because when I think of this guy you know what a, what a, a wonderful wonderful player he was uh, and he was the greatest player I've ever played against without any question he got he got so much talent. It just just just, just wasn't true. He, he was great at passing, shooting, heading. He got literally everything. He was he was a great great player. It really was. And as you've you've heard, wherever I go, people talk about that Pally save. <laughs> and he he said to me when he was in London, when I when I saw him, and he says, Gordon, he says, I go all over the world. He says. And people talk about the goals that I scored, he says, but when I come to England, all the blue... <laughs> but the clincher was when Joe turned around and said, oh, by the way, your teammate will be Pele. The Pele? Not his brother, the Pele, Pele, yeah. Your teammate will be Pele. I said, where do I sign? We well, didn't even talk about money. I just signed the contract. I just wanted to play with the guy who I realised and always knew was the best player in the world. But one I'd particularly like to read out because it's from Gilberto Silva, who was um, probably one of the most successful Brazilian players ever to play here um, in this country uh, and uh, a wonderful, wonderful servant to Arsenal. And may I, if I can just read out the message he sent. In my mind, Pelé is the king of all time. He inspired so many generations of people and players and still does. Unfortunately, I couldn't see him play, only videos and his movie. He deserves all the credit, though, for leaving football a great legacy. As a Brazilian, I'm so happy for his achievements, and I'm sure his influence inspired most of us Brazilian players over so many years. Thank you, King Pele, for everything. But Edson Arantes do Nascimento, the mighty Pelé, will be cherished for more graceful, less inflammatory spectacles. If posterity is an honest witness, he will be seen as one of the very greatest, perhaps the greatest of footballers for as long as the game is played. 
Tschüss.